Coombe Cassis Rifle TV in association with MTK Global. We're at the SEC Arena here in Belfast. I'm joined by the Duke, Luke Watkins, 11 and 0 now. Peach of a right hand um, to knock out Ian Timms. Um, you must be uh, very pleased with your performance. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it was a good shot. It landed clean. Uh, happy with it. We spoke about this before, what a, a tough and a hard man Ian Timms is and you knew what sort of fight you were going to get but um, when you land punches like that then it's kind of, uh, it, it says it. Yeah, it is, um, but we prepared to go 10 hard rounds, you know. I never took it for granted for one second, I respect what Ian is and I know he's a hard man. So that's what we were prepared for, but this is boxing. As soon as you get to mid, well, anyway, because it goes to relative and power, as soon as you you know you land start landing clean punches like that, it's, it's game over. We also said uh, only yesterday that this was kind of your your chance today to sort of in front of uh, like I said uh, the big stage. Listen, mum and dad, I'm coming out. I've got to tell you, I'm coming out now. Like, <laughs> like you get me? It's my coming out party. Yeah, it was your chance to deliver tonight. Uh, like I said, in front of uh, people you should be impressing in front of, and, and you did that tonight. Thank you. That's yeah. your opinion. Uh, that is. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm sure most people would see that because, like I said, Paddy's kind of said he's kept you under wraps for this long, but now maybe it's time to unleash the duke. Absolutely. Um, I, I said to you, uh, this, I thrive off of this stuff. You know, I love what I do. And hopefully now other people will enjoy what I do. And I, would just, I want to be a showman. This, this is, again, this is business. I want to be a showman. I want to entertain people. You said the other day I'm a warming guy. I can warm people to me and keep icing people. Man, this would be a fun career. Absolutely, and it's only just to start. Like I said, your 11th fight, so you're nowhere near started or where you want to be. So absolutely not. This is uh, the first stepping stone in the right direction of hopefully many titles. Absolutely. So have you got a date in mind when you're gonna want to return? Um, no, you know, I let, let Paddy do all that stuff. We've, uh, we've boxed in April, we've boxed now, so I'm going to have a go on holiday, enjoy summer, a bit of sun, and then come back and get straight back into training. Maybe on the show in Swindon, September, or Eddie wants to have me back on TV, get me on TV. You also claimed the, the Irish title there, beautiful looking belt. It is. I'm very proud and honour, honoured to have fought, fought for that and, and won it. I mean, I saw Tommy McCarthy, he's here today, so that's a fight that still uh, could happen and I'm sure you want to happen yeah, as well. absolutely. I, I, I said to you the other day, domestically, the cruiserweight division is bumping, absolutely bumping. I just said to you a minute ago, I want to entertain people. I want to be in exciting fights. I, I want to do these things. I want to entertain people. I want to be a showman. So if there's hard, good fights domestically, let's have them. And then once I go through that phase, we'll go to the European level. And once I go through that phase, I want to get to the world level. Let me just bring in your uh, your dad, Paddy. I mean, dad. Your dad. My dad. Your real dad. My real dad. His godfather. Okay, fair enough. Uh, you must be pleased with that performance. I was, I was, wasn't pleased with the whole performance, but I was pleased with the, I was pleased with the first round, the last little bit of the third round, and then obviously the fourth round. The That's his job to pick the the, the negative the second, as well. Second yeah. round, he, he was inside and I thought, you know, I told him early on, your jab is better, your feet are better. Don't give him anything early, drown him, don't, don't have him to work for everything. And he was letting Ian in. And Ian's legs are old, but his fighting spirit isn't old. That's as young as it was 20 years ago. And when, he was, when Ian was inside and he didn't have to use his legs, he was very dangerous because he was just dropping his head on Duke's chest and just letting go shots. Um, I said to Duke in the third round, I said at the end of the second round, keep creating that space, meet him on the way in. Don't be, don't be letting do, don't be letting him in there. Meet him on the way inside, and then, and then create that space again. Um, in the third round, I asked him, is he strong? And he goes, no. So why are you letting him in there? So then, but at the end of the third round, you started to get your rhythm. There was a lot more yeah. rhythm in you. I think I should give it a little shoulder shake. Yeah. Kind of thought. Yeah. <sighs> This is mine. Sugar rated. So, and then, and then he it. started. Uh, then he started getting the little angles and being nice and relaxed. But it's amazing what a belt can do for anyone. It's the confirmation of knowing I can do it as opposed to believing it. So it'll bring more out in him now. It'll bring more out in him. Is it a case of who's next now? It's it's a case. Ed, Eddie gave me a little whisper straight afterwards. So with a bit of luck and three Hail Marys, we still have a chat with him. And. Um, He's, he's ready to be in those domestic fights now. And uh, yeah, it, it is a case of, he, I, you know, he's proved that he's excited. He's, he's, he can punch. 
he's he's got a lot to offer. So now it's now it's to be able to see what is on offer. I can see Eddie picturing uh, Luke against Lawrence O'Coley. I can see him already thinking about that. Well, he's got a lot, hasn't he? Eddie's got a massive platform. He's got a lot of guys there. So. Eddie's the man in the UK. There's a lot let's, that can be going let's on. Let's be honest. He's, he's, he's got the shows. He makes it happen. And uh, that's where it's got to be at. You know, you want to be amongst all that. You want to be amongst the hustle and the bustle. All right, well, listen, Luke, Paddy, thank you very much for your time this week. And uh, Sorry, I didn't get you any pocket money this week. I apologise. You give me the hat. I'll just say, Coogan, thank you to my friends, family, supporters, all of you people that showed up today in Belfast. You've been amazing. The sponsors, Quick List, Abbey Removal, Jazz Booms Creative, Ruben Inspired, Melbourne Fitness Performance Centre, and NB Foods. You've been great. Stu at T2 Elite Fitness, been working on my conditioning. Thank you ever so much. I'm really, really grateful for all your hard work, everyone. And thank you to uh, Matt Trump for giving us a shot. And Ian Tim's yeah. a hell of a dude. It's horrible in this sport that we love. It's horrible that there has to be a loser when the two gents are. Absolutely. Thank you so much, All right. Top man. Thank you very much.